Hi, I'm Margie from Marjorie's Candies, and I'm going to make some cinnamon buns for you today. And I'm a little nervous about actually opening this up, but this is a this is breadsticks. These are actually Pillsbury breadsticks, and this has been out of the refrigerator for. Yes, it's been out of the refrigerator for so long that I was a little nervous that that was going to explode worse than that. So that's pretty good, actually. So let's put a little flour down. And <coughs> this is going to be cinnamon buns with pecans and so forth. So what we want to do... is This is a, ha a, a quarter of a cup of butter, which I'm going to melt in my microwave and then I'm going to add this is three tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of brown sugar and then this is about a quarter of a cup of nuts uh, pecans and I've just uh, lightly chopped and this is a pie pan that I'm using and I took butter so as you can see I took butter and I really great buttered that very well The butter is ready in here, and we're going to mix it. We're going to mix in everything but the pecans. In this container, I have three tablespoons of corn syrup. Sort of. I have, I'm going to really measure it because I was kind of spilled it. Don't want to have more corn syrup than we need. Okay, so it's going to give that a stir. Everything but the pecans. I'm going to bring that all together. Get the butter into it. And we're going to then mix in the pecans. And we're going to put this in the pan. We're going to spread it around in the pan on the bottom. Okay, so it's all covering the bottom. Okay, so what do we want to do... Let's get that out. the dock scraper. Okay, so if we can pull these apart, which it looks like maybe we can't. Oh, maybe we'll open them up first. Well, if worse comes to worse, what we can do is we can roll it a little bit. So it is press it out, put a little flour down. Oh, trials and tribulations of the cinnamon buns. I'm sure it will behave when it sees this rolling pin. Put a little flour down. But we're going to want are long strips. It was going to roll out into strips. a little. Now, I have a teaspoon of sugar here. I mean, sorry, that's a tablespoon of sugar. And I always get those. <laughs> I just messed that up. And this is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. It's actually probably even easier having it like that if we if it's like this. And so we'll, we have two tablespoons of butter. We can butter the whole thing, so that kind of works really well. 
actually. Maybe that's what you should do when you when you get out your your breadsticks. It's nice because you already have a nice little loaf of bread here to work with. Okay, so we'll take all of this and we can sprinkle it on. Cinnamon sugar, salt over. This is very cinnamony, which is pretty good. Uh -huh. Choo -choo -choo. <laughs> And now we'll take up our pizza cutter and we'll cut about one inch strips and we'll just loosely roll them up. Okay, and we'll stick them in there. One, two, three. You can make it a little bigger. Loosely. You don't have to put them right on top of each other because they'll rise a little bit. Okay, but that's kind of a biggie, huh? Maybe we can put a teeny one in the middle. Stick a little guy in the middle, it'll probably disappear. I'm going to let that rise for a little bit. And you want, kind of want to pinch the ends when you get to the ends of these things, or, or put them so they're, they're kind of face in so they don't open up. Okay, put those little ends a pinch. And we'll let it rise for about 15 minutes, and then we'll put them in the... After I put those six buns in there, I noticed that there was a lot of room and a lot of the peanut, of uh, the pecan and brown sugar and butter sauce on the bottom. So what I did was, I took each bun, and I kind of picked it up, and I cut it, I cut it across this way, and I just placed the top next to it. So it made twice as many buns. So we improvised a little bit. We'll see how that comes out because there really was a lot of sauce. So when I flipped it over, I figured we'd get a few more buns out of it with the sauce on it that way. So I'm still going to let it rest for a few minutes. Now I've been checking them and they are done. And they didn't quite cook for the entire time. So you always want to watch. So this is what they look like. Now. These are going to flip over. I'm going to let them rest for about five minutes or so before I invert them onto... I took a plate and I put a piece of parchment paper on. That will help them to keep from sticking. Okay, so we'll just let that rest for a few minutes. But it's been about five minutes. I'm going to take a knife. And I think that they're not going to stick just to loosen the edge a little bit. And then they um, suggest that you just um, invert it for a minute or so. Just invert it and let them, that way I suppose all the, all the butter and brown sugar and nuts will come out onto the paper. So I'm ready to take the lid off. Now some is still stuck in the pan a little bit, okay? So of course we want to, we don't want to lose all that. That's what I call a real candied, um, candied nuts, even if you just eat it without the bread. Okay. Um, Probably pretty hot. So anyway, this is what they look like. If you can see that, I'll take a picture of it for you. So they look pretty good, I think. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us on this one.
And as you see, I did improvise a little bit, but when you're baking, you kind of have to do that. I'm not really making excuses. That's kind of how I bake. Um, I sort of get through it, and it comes out pretty good, and I learn along the way. So uh, be patient and, and have some fun. Bye.